Um, I'm, I'm really glad that you've come to look at my exhibition, Odyssey, uh, at the Mitchell Fine Art Gallery. And uh, I just, I'd like to walk you through some of the paintings. The painting, the show is called Odyssey, and it really has been an Odyssey in the past three years, uh, putting this together and uh, just, you know, what's been happening all over the world has been, you know, somehow got caught up in the movement and uh, between Australia and the US and managed to paint along the way. Uh, so we, before we left, we were living in South Australia on the Furio, and I used to paint along the coast quite a bit, and this is the last painting I did before we left for the US. Uh, this is in a place called Second Valley, and uh, it's the most amazing sort of scene, um, which I just had to document. I painted it on the um, pier of the study, and this large painting uh, includes this little dinghy, which is just my attempt at putting a bit of a story. So we, uh, we initially moved to New Mexico in the US uh, for quite some time um, while we settled, and, uh, but we, we moved between Florida and Georgia as well. So we were in Florida for four months, and this, uh, these paintings will jump around. This painting is done in Florida. It's, this part of Florida is called the Forgotten Coast by the residents. That's why I call this painting that. Um, but it's actually called St. George Island. Um, but it's a very quiet little part of Florida, and uh, it's gradually getting more and more discovered like all beautiful places do, but we had quite a um, sort of a, a, a reprise um, from the virus and, and all the cra craziness in the election by living in this part of Florida for four months. Here's another one from the same area. We were a couple of blocks from the beach, um, and uh, the, the architecture is quite strange. It's almost like uh, a Hitchcock um, sort of stage set, these buildings. I think that's why I put so much drama into this painting. Well, these long, tall, skinny buildings, um, mostly uh, rented out to tourists. Um, and uh, I found this couple when I was actually doing my research for the painting and uh, they actually agreed to pose for the painting. They were just uh, tourists themselves visiting. Um, so when I was in Roswell, which is where um, we started off, uh, I found this house and I called this painting the corner house. It was a corner house near the fire station in historic Roswell. And uh, something about this, the architecture drew me in again. Um, it's quite, uh, it's Victorian, but you know, quite uh, intricate with the shadows and everything. I'm not quite sure why I torture myself like this, but uh, it called me to make a painting of it and put a figure in. Um, once again, using local architecture, this, these, these are called the, the candy houses, basically, in this area of Florida. Um, and they're all rented out to tourists on short term. Uh, and I liked the combination of the flag and the cross. Uh, it's quite symbolic. Um, mostly because of the drama that was happening in, in, across the world. Uh, and this young, uh, young lad is a, uh, he's the son of a good friends of ours who are living on the island. Um, we spent some time doing road trips and uh, one of the most exciting was to Monument Valley, which you know, everyone recognises this probably from John Wayne movies. Uh, and uh, it was just amazing to paint and we had such close access. It was very, very hot. Um, so I painted early in the morning or late in the afternoon. And uh, once again, I, I painted this in, Ros in Roswell, New Mexico. And the model is from a local restaurant. Her name is Angel and she agreed to sit for me. Like all my models are real people who I meet. And uh, so we spent also time in Georgia because my wife had um, a teaching position at the Savannah College of Art and Design. And so we had to settle there for a while um, and eventually we moved half an hour outside of Savannah to Wilmington Island. Uh, and there's this big marsh area which our house backed onto and there's some uh, houses damaged by cyclones. Uh, a couple of years before, and this was one of them, and it made a very good backdrop for a painting. Back to Monument Valley, uh, which is on the corner of Utah and New Mexico. Um, fantastic. I had to do a, a monumental painting of Monument 
Mountain Valley, and uh, I had to probably introduce the horse, you know, as a sort of a homage to the westerns. And uh, this, this young uh, neighbour who lived in Roswell um, agreed to sit for the painting. Um, on the many trips back and forth between the US and Australia during this three year period, uh, we travelled from Queensland all the way up to Broome, Western Australia, and stopped in the Northern Territory along the way and uh, found this amazing place actually called the Lost City. And uh, the structures are just it's so beautiful, so abstract. Um, I had to make a painting about this. Um, more recently, we, uh, when we arrived back from America in uh, April this year, uh, we spent time while we were waiting to get into our new house, traveling through the Flinders, and I took advantage and did several studies uh, as we traveled. Here's another one. Um, in the Flinders area, we stayed in Akarula for a while, and um, these are done in about three hours, these paintings, so I, you know, I paint them on the spot once I find something that, that draws me in. This is uh, in the Akarula um, village, which covers quite a lot of land, and uh, my wife loves to walk through different trails and show me different things, and she found this uh, area called the Pinnacles in Akarula. Uh, on the many trips back and forth uh, from Australia to America, we had to get different flights and some flights took us to Tokyo, some flights took us, uh, we spent some time in Mexico for three weeks. And this is a, um, in a town called San Miguel de Londe, where I previously lived several years before, for four months. And it has this beautiful cathedral, which is based on a European cathedral. Um, and uh, the light on this cathedral in the afternoon is just amazing. And it keeps changing and the whole scene is extremely breathtaking. So I had to somehow capture that. When I got, to, uh, I was coming back and forth for visa reasons and sometimes for showing, I had a regional gallery show during this period, which traveled around Australia. And uh, at one point when the lockdown started and everything in March, 2020, I got stuck completely. I couldn't get back to America to my wife. And uh, initially I got stuck in, uh, in Adelaide, uh, in Aldinga. And a friend uh, let me stay at their place while I quarantined, and they had a beautiful rose garden. And um, so my first paintings uh, were of uh, this rose garden. Um, and this is another study done in Flinders. Uh, here is a gouache. That is uh, the study, obviously, for Sunday. Um, I do these on the spot, and then if, if I feel there's a story that, uh, that can be uh, told, I will blow them up and introduce a character. Here's a study for Lost City that was done on the spot. The study for High Tide. And uh, look, thank you for listening to my talk and uh, hope you enjoy my exhibition.